I used libraries when I was younger all the time. Uh, I grew up in a small town, uh, Farnham in Surrey, um, and trips to the town library, the public library, on West Street in Farnham, it's still there, were a, were a regular part of my early childhood. And I was a, um, a you know, ravenous reader. I read everything, you know, and um, I read all of the all of the books in the school library and uh, worked my way through all of the books in, in Farnham Library in the children's section uh, and quickly kind of graduated to the, uh, to the more interesting uh, section, the science fiction section, these great uh, Galantz uh, uh, science fiction anthologies. Um, uh, writers like Doris Lessing uh, I discovered uh, in Farnham Library as a child. And um, yeah, I, I, I'm a huge, uh, huge supporter of libraries. If, if libraries hadn't uh, existed in my childhood, I don't think I'd be doing what I'm doing now because I wouldn't have had access to literature. You know, we, I was, my family didn't have a lot of money. Um, so buying books was an absolute rarity. Maybe that would be something, you know, uh, Christmas or birthdays, you'd, you'd get a book token and you could go and buy a book. And, uh, and libraries were, were the kind of wellspring of, of uh, reading and uh, the source of, of, of literature. And, and I'm still, I think, uh, some of those books that I read um, in Farnham Libraries as a child, those, particularly those, those uh, science fiction anthologies, you know, writers like Oh, I don't know, Asimov, J.G. Ballard, Michael Moorcock. These are, these are writers who I'm still interested in, you know. So, so yeah, libraries really planted a, a seed in my life and were an essential part of my, my childhood. And as an adult, uh, they still are because uh, libraries and collections are where I do my research, you know. So I, I do research in the British Library or um, for, for recent writing, like The Fountain in the Forest, um, uh, in the archives of Leeds City Library, where they, they have a collection of, uh, of Leeds Other Paper, an amazing independent newspaper from the uh, 70s to the, which ran from the 70s to the 90s, in which that, that collection exists nowhere else, you know. Um, so, so libraries are still a, a part of my life. And uh, unfortunately, we're, we're, we're living through a period where uh, the statutory duty to provide a library, which is in, in, enshrined in law, uh, is being disregarded by too many uh, local authorities and uh, hundreds of libraries, literally hundreds of libraries, have been closed down uh, or withdrawn from service in various ways over the last four or five years. And it, it's hard to see how um, the library movement and society can recover from that. If we lose libraries, we lose a lot because they're a place that you can go and be and learn and uh, have free access to technology and literature and information and expertise without paying for it. And there just aren't enough places in society the way you can just be and do without paying. And uh, if you can't pay and that those places cease to exist, then we're really in trouble because where will people go?